I will uh, briefly present contents of the Sustainable Development in the Mediterranean uh, report, and this is the second edition of this report that I had the opportunity to write together with co-authors on behalf of the SED SN uh, Mediterranean, uh, that is hosted by the Santa Chiara Lab at the University of Siena. Uh, the report is based on uh, results from the Sustainable Development Report 2020, the World Edition. We took most uh, of the uh, indicators and dashboards from, from this report, uh, but also we provided additional information regarding the dynamics within uh, such a complex and complicated environment. The Mediterranean region is a complex environment, including 24 countries uh, that of course share one, one common sea, uh, but at, at the same time they belong three uh, different uh, continents uh, and also there are many uh, differences in terms of economy, society, uh, culture, uh, environment. Uh, also, you know that the Mediterranean region is uh, uh, the most uh, sensible uh, region in the world to climate change after the Arctic, uh, and this can also provide additional problems. Uh, based on the observations made through the indicators, we could anyhow um, highlight or identify four uh, macro areas, uh, not based on political reasons, but, but just on uh, a uh, sort of homogeneous behaviors um, that are Europe West, Europe East, Middle East and North Africa and that will, will help us to um, support our story, storytelling throughout the entire uh, uh, report. I will uh, show you this, uh, this picture. This is the dashboard uh, concerning the SDGs in uh, the Mediterranean uh, countries. Uh, first of all, I, I will say that the general SDG index of the Mediterranean is 73.5. This value means that the Mediterranean region is uh, at 73% in the way towards the SDGs. And as you can see in the picture, I will not go into details, but if you look at the picture at a glance, you will see that there are just a few green lights and most of the lights are yellow orange and red. This means that there is still much to do to achieve the SDGs in the Mediterranean. And also, if we check the trends in the SDG index, you can see that there are a few green arrows, that means positive trends, and, and many uh, stagnant or even decreasing trends. Uh, based on the observation of the uh, results, on the, on the analysis, we could highlight a few hotspots concerning the, the Mediterranean region. Um, we can say that considering the average incomes per family, almost 50 million people in the Mediterranean are at risk of poverty, including 27 million Europeans. Women rights and opportunities for women emancipation must be improved if we consider rates of participation in the labor force, well, these are quite low, but also it's even lower the participation of women in uh, political activities, down to 18% in the Middle East and North Africa. And also women in, in leading positions, uh, I mean in, in a position of top managers in private companies and enterprises, is less than, uh, than 5%. Uh, the job market is stagnant, the unemployment uh, rate in general in the Mediterranean is around 11%. And also the number of needs is increasing. There are many young people that are not in training and are not looking for a job. And this, this is quite alarming. This is almost 20% of youths in the Mediterranean. Also food habits are going in a, in a wrong uh, direction. We are in the place of the Mediterranean diet, but the obesity affects 26% of the Mediterranean population, up to 35% in some countries of the Middle East. And sustainable agriculture is uh, really an important uh, goal to achieve, considering that most of the agricultural practices in the Mediterranean are uh, based on intensive agriculture. 
water management is also an issue, especially considering the sensitivity to climate change. Some countries in North Africa and the Middle East are going towards a condition of water scarcity that is less than 500 cube meters per capita. And we should avoid this situation, of course. Um, water quality is also a problem considering that less than 50% of water used in the Mediterranean is released into the environment without any treatment. And air quality can be a problem considering that 70% of the Mediterranean population live in cities and uh, is exposed to, to pollution, of course. Uh, in terms of uh, sustainable energy, the European trends are very good, of course, but we should uh, improve these trends also in the other Mediterranean countries, as well as investments in uh, research and uh, innovation. Uh, fisheries uh, is based on unsustainable practices. Aquaculture can be an opportunity to manage um, the, the, the feed, fish stock in a sustainable way, if well managed, of course, and environmental protection is as well quite important, both in lands and marine areas. Uh, well, we structured the, the, the report on uh, the six transformation frameworks uh, suggested by Jeffrey Sachs in the previous uh, uh, report, but also in a, a famous uh, paper published on the scientific journal Nature. The six transformations framework is just an operative framework. The idea was to make it easier to implement um, concrete actions towards the achievement of the SDGs. And what we did was to identify six uh, centers of excellence in the Mediterranean uh, with a high expertise in some specific topics in order to um, let them cooperate to achieve the, the, this transformation. There is one um, center, one Mediterranean hub for each transformation. And, and the record uh, was, was used to start this cooperation and that, that will uh, keep going in the next future um, even more intense. Um, about uh, these, uh, these um, transformations, the, the, the report is structured uh, based on this framework and there is one chapter for each transformation. And uh, the transformation are described based on the results of the indicators um, that, that are related to different goals, of course. Um, but in particular, we could uh, highlight and visualize uh, specific uh, challenges for each transformation that we have to face in the next future. So you will find for each transformation around 10 main challenges that we have to urgently manage in the next future. And, uh, and, and the transformations are education and gender inequality, health, well-being and demography, energy decarbonization and sustainable industry. I will show you, for example, in the transformation for sustainable food, land, water and oceans for this transformation, the SDSN Mediterranean is in charge. Um, I, I will just give you a, a, a short example. In terms of um, uh, food habits, for example, this is one of the challenges we highlighted. Uh, the, the reference indicators are the prevalence of obesity and the um, consumption of food, the, the, the diets uh, that are um, used in the Mediterranean. In terms of sustainable agriculture, we deal with the food self-sufficiency of countries and uh, the, the release of nutrients into the environment. In terms of water management and water quality, for example, we consider the rate of renewability of water resources, but also accessibility to water services and water treatment. In terms of environmental protection, we consider the enlargement and enforcement of protected area in the Mediterranean. So this is an example of how we structured the, the report and the, the kind of information that you will find in, in the report. The transformation five is about sustainable cities and community. The transformation on digital revolution has 
much to do with all the other transformations, of course. The last part of the report is about the concrete actions that we wanted to suggest through a sort of uh, roadmap, uh, including uh, 150, let's say, policies, but we also can call them recommendations. These recommendations are classified into uh, different categories. Uh, for example, governments and public authorities can operate to, to release new regulations and control protocols as well as new practices of governance. In this case, for example, we deal with sectoral planning. Let's think to the, the urban planning for decarbonization or um, um, programs for waste management and resource management, for, for mobility, sustainable mobility or, or biodiversity. Uh, also, governments are very important uh, to promote incentive schemes, uh, to, to promote innovation towards sustainability, but also in this case, companies and private enterprises play an important role. For example, public private initiatives are desirable to improve uh, innovation in this sense. Um, then, educational programs are very important. Um, knowledge not only addressed to, to young students but also in terms of knowledge transfer to uh, enterprises and practitioners that have to change their mission towards sustainability as a leverage for market. Stakeholders engagement is important for, for uh, the, the, the role can be played by, by the scientific community. Digital transformation is important as well as market that can be driven by uh, the consumers and, and their choices. Uh, international partnership is very, very important, of course, and uh, we, we are looking for a, a, not a gradual progress, but a deep transformations. And the goal, the final goal is, as said in the foreword of the report, to finally close the gap between rhetoric and action. I'm very proud of this uh, outstanding ownership and thank you very much for your attention.